Happy Tuesday! It's Tell a Tale Tuesday. We are going to tell a tale today. A tale is a story. So get cozy and grab a snuggle item like a blanket or a pillow or even just a soft, nice chair. To celebrate Earth Week, we are going to hear a story about the elements of the earth God created. The earth is our planet. It is the place where we live. This is a pretend story. It is not real. It is imaginary. We can call that fiction. Fiction means fake. We are going to use this story just to have fun. Here we go. One day, long ago, all of the elements of the earth got together and decided to try to figure out who was the most important one. They all began to brag because they all wanted to be special. On Sunday, the tree spoke up. I stand tall like a tree for all the plants and trees in the world. Did you know that one healthy tree is equal to 10 air conditioners working for 20 whole hours? We are the most important because we help keep the air clean. We also grow flowers to make the world beautiful. The trees should be first. On Monday, the water spoke up. Um, like I slosh in like liquid for all the water in the world. We are the oceans, the lakes, the rivers, the streams, the trickling faucets, and even the water in your sippy cup. Did you know water covers almost 71% of the earth and almost all of that is ocean water? We are the most important because we help you stay healthy by drinking water and letting you clean off the dirt from your hands. Why, we even make the water for your bath so you can get clean every night. The water should definitely be first. Next, it was Tuesday and it was time. The dirty soil spoke up. Hey now, I shovel in the mud for all the soil in the world. We are the land and the mountains and even the garden to grow your food. Do you know that there are more microorganisms in a handful of soil than there are people on the earth? The soil is a whole living system. We are the most important because we help you walk on the ground and build strong buildings because we hold you up. The soil should be first. Next it was, you guessed it, Wednesday. The wind spoke up on Wednesday. Why, we blow in for all the clouds and puffs of smoke in the whole wide world. Why, did you know clouds are white? Because they reflect the light from the sun. Gray clouds become so filled with water that they don't reflect light. Masses of clouds form shadows, which can also cause the clouds to look gray. Cumulus clouds look like fluffy tufts of cotton floating around in the sky. Sometimes that might take the shape of a dragon or a turtle or some other creature. You see cumulus clouds on warm sunny days. We are the most important because we allow you to breathe in and out. Ah. There 
out is soft air to keep you cool in the summertime and carry the airplanes with the breeze. The wind should definitely be first. After Wednesday it was, yep, Thursday. On Thursday, the fire spoke up. Well, we blaze in for all the steamy hot cooking pots, the oven fried turkeys and the warm campfires that help you cook your marshmallows. We are the most important because we can help you stay warm and cook your food too. Did you know? Earth is the only known planet where fire can burn. Fire should be first. After Thursday, it was Friday. On Friday, the rocks spoke up. Crikey! We tumble in for all the minerals and shiny diamonds and tall mountains in our world. Did you know there are over 4,000 different types of minerals? Examples of minerals include calcite, gypsum, feldspar, pyrite, gold, quartz, and diamonds. We are the most important. We are the most important because the Earth's crust is made up of rocks. We form awesome of volcanoes, cliffs, mountain tops, and even small rocks become sand for your sand pile. Rocks should definitely be first. And then you're right. It was Saturday. On Saturday, the animals spoke up. Um, hi. <laughs> we crawl. Uh, slither, swim, hop, run, and prance in for all of the cute little puppy dogs and beautiful shiny fish, the amazing enormous whales and the ferocious lions in our world. <laughs> Did you know without animals like bees to pollinate trees and flowers and vegetable plants, humans would not even be alive. We're the most important because we help to comfort you. Like when you rest and so softly pet your soft bunny, we protect you like a dog that can see in the dark, night nighttime, and we even provide you with food like juicy chicken at dinner time. <laughs> animals, um, animals should really be first. When all of the elements of the earth were done with their sharing, God began to speak and comfort them. I am so proud of you all, God said. You were all my creations on planet Earth. I made you all for an important purpose and you are all important to me. From that day on, all of the elements were happy again. They didn't mind who went first. Sometimes the trees and plants were first. Sometimes the water and droplets came first. Sometimes the soil and the dirt got a turn to be first. At other times, the breeze and wind was able to be first. And then the warm and burning fire got a chance to be first. Next, the rolling, jagged, and sparkling rocks got a turn to be first. And at other times, the soft and unusual and amazing animals were able to be first, but they didn't mind. They knew they were all created by God. They were all important for different reasons. They were all special.
enjoy that story, and I hope you did too. It was just a fun imaginary story, but all of these things were truly created by God. Now, we're going to have some fun and make a chart. People might have a chart that looks like this. It's just basically a piece of paper with eight boxes inside. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you do not have a paper that looks like that, I want you to just take any page we'll do and we're going to fold it. This is how we're gonna fold it. We're gonna call it folding it hamburger style first, okay? Then open it back up. Now we're gonna fold it hot dog style, which is the long way, kind of like you're eating a hot dog, like this. Have you ever seen like a taco or a hot dog where you kind of eat it like this? Okay, so now you have two folds. Okay, so let's fold it on both of those folds so it looks like this. Okay, now can you fold it one more time? Like this, I'm gonna call it hamburger style again. <laughs> Just in half, over like that. So you should have a page that looks like this. When you open it back up, you'll have eight sections too. Just like the people who have this paper, you'll have that one as well. Now Miss Kristen is going to draw some lines so that you can see each box a little bit more clearly. And if you do not have paper and pencil at all, or pa paper or um, marker at all, that's okay. You can just follow along and wash this white paper away and just use the yellow one because it's a little bit brighter and easier for you. you remember to see. in the story how each element of the earth spoke up on a different day. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the days of the week. Okay, we're gonna use these days of the week on our chart. We are going to label each box of the chart with a letter or with a word. If you want to, you can put it like this. Sunday, Monday, t -t Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the days of the Ms. week. Miss Kristen went ahead and filled in all of the letters of each day of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now it's an extra box right here. You can put your name in there. You can put a picture in there. I'm just gonna put a little smile because there's not eight days of the week. There's just seven, okay? So we have one extra box. Here you can see all of our cute little characters from our story. All of the elements of the earth that we talked about in our story. Can you remember the order that they came in? First, on Sunday, who came first? Do you remember? That's right, it was the tree. The tree spoke up because he wanted us to remember that trees help to keep the air clean and the growing the flowers because flowers are plants too so we're going to put the tree on sunday all i'm going to do is take a little glue stick and glue down my tree like this okay now who came next do you remember was it the wind the rocks the water the animals the fire or the soil. If you would like to finish this video, you can click below on part two of Tell a Tale Tuesday. If on the other hand, you think that your little one might be done for the day, you can always stop here and come back later. Ask the continuing questions that we go on with included in the description box below. Thank you.